Are you one of those people that graduated with your electronics degree and you still don't understand electronics? Let alone even knowing how to apply whatever you remember or know to your job as an electronic technician? Well, my name is Lou and I was one of those people. I remember about 16, 17 years ago when I graduated with my electronics degree, I had went in and applied for a job as an electronic technician. And I went in and applied in person and I met the lady up front and she gave me an application and she also gave me a two page front and back uh, full of electronic questions. For She wanted me to go through and answer those and turn it back into her. So I went, I went, sat down and I was going through the first question and I didn't know it. I skipped to the second one and read it and I didn't know that one either. I went to the third one, the fourth one, to the fifth one and first page, second page, third page, fourth page and I couldn't answer a single one of, of those questions and I felt like man like how come I didn't I don't know any of these questions so I went back up to a, to the lady and I asked her if I could take those questions home because I couldn't answer uh, any one of those and she was nice enough to let me take those home so as, as I was driving home I felt like like the dumbest person in the world and I was saying to myself like Lou you you graduated with a degree and you could answer a single question like you, you're like dumb and I feel so bad and dumb and I went home and and I got out my books and I was going through it and I was struggling but I had to get a job because I got my two-year degrees right so I was out there looking for a job and I was lucky enough to find a job where the guy didn't have high expectation and basically he just needed a warm body in there so I got hired on and I remember going in on my first day and the owner was taking me around touring me taking me and, and showing me the repair shop and I looked around there was nobody around and I asked him I said who's gonna train me and he said well no one I said yeah well I'm entry level I don't I don't know how to do this I'm I just graduated he said well you're gonna have to learn because I'm, I don't know anything about electronics and there's no one here to teach you so I, I was worried I was scared I didn't know what to do and th that was before the YouTube days so I remember I remember we had you know, Windows 98 on the computer but basically he wanted me to repair all his all his boards uh, for his customers like boards that came out of uh, manufacturing facilities and power supplies and and like temperature controller and all these things that came out of uh, industrial manufacturing uh, facilities where they had machineries that these electronics go in and and the, the bonus was that all these things that I had to repair had no schematics right it's not like I knew how to read schematics anyways but uh, they had no schematic so I didn't even know how to power these boards up or power supplies up and and when, when I saw these equipments in his testing room or his his um shop have I uh, haven't even seen some of these before like when I was back in college they didn't have some of these testing equipments so I had to learn these testing equipments and and then I had to learn some of these components and some of these components like I've never seen some of these components before I've never seen it in a shop before uh, so I didn't even know what some of these components um, were so I had to learn those and then uh, how they look like but I still didn't I just still didn't know how to troubleshoot these um, boards or, or electronics but one thing I, I did learn how to do was I learned how to solder and desolder and I became really good at it and basically what I was doing was I was like okay I have this this board I don't know how to power it up I don't know how to test it so I'm just gonna replace all these parts and hopefully they work and that's that's really what I, what I did I became a parts changer uh, basically all I did was change out parts until they work and became really good at it so eventually he he went out of business and you know I, I basically took over some of his customer and started my own business 
And eventually I started hiring other like Schwann technicians who were way better than I am, uh, who were, weren't parts changers. I mean, they were experienced like Schwann technicians. And I learned from them. I learned how to power up boards uh, without schematics. I learned how to use uh, tested equipment the right way. I learned more about the theories of these electronic components and how they work inside a circuit and what they were doing. I learned how to use these testing equipment, how to test them in circuit and test them out of circuits. And I, I learned how to become a true electronic technician and not a parts changer. So, so from, from them, I transitioned from the parts changer to electronic technician. And I, eventually I became uh, so good at it that I, w I was approached by this business owner who owned this really, really big uh, electronic repair business. And he came to me and he, he pretty much said, hey Lou, I'll, I'll buy you out and I want you to run my shop. And basically he, his offer was 125,000 a year. I was like, wow, that's a lot of money. But he, he offered that and, and he said, look, here's the bonus. He said, as you, uh, you're, you're just not an electronic technician, you're in management, so you'll get a um, bonus for that, for the repairs department. So it'd be 125,000 plus your bonus, which uh, he said, I guarantee you, you'll be making over 200,000 a year. So I was like, man, that's a lot of money. Um, who would have thought a guy like me uh, coming out with a degree and not knowing how to do anything and was a parts changer and then now electronic technician, and then now here's his job offer of over 200,000 a year. Like, I, w I never thought of that. And, but anyways, that, that was offered to me. So I felt like I was blessed in that, but I, I turned that down because I, I, I love what I, I love what I was doing then and still love what I'm doing now. So eventually, I, you know, I, I turned that down and I'm still doing what I'm doing now to this day. But uh, throughout all the years that I've owned this business, I've had to hire a lot of entry level people. And just like me, right? They were just like me, entry level. They didn't understand electronics like I did too. And in the beginning, I thought it was just me. But no, it wasn't just me. It's, like 95% of the people that graduate with their degrees were like me. They didn't understand electronics. I mean, they're entry level. They didn't know. They don't know how to repair anything. Um, like on day one, if I gave them a board, they wouldn't even know where to start. So I developed this training program to train my my techs on testing equipment, on theories, how to test these components with certain testing equipment in circuit and outer circuit, and that was my building block of training my technicians in house on how to be an electron technician, you know, a true electron technician, uh, and trying to get them up to where I am. So that's what I, I develop and that's what I do to train my electron technicians. And if you're one of those people that graduate and you, you're one of those people that don't know electronics or don't remember anything from school and let alone know how to uh, apply that to your job, then, hey, I'm, I'm the guy that can help you out. So if you're interested in me helping you out to becoming a true electronic technician to where you could like get a raise from your job or just, just be able to do your job or maybe even one day you want to own your own business uh, repairing electronics for whatever industry, uh, maybe I'm, I'm the guy that can help you out. And if you think I'm the guy that can help you out, then hey, hit that button below and let's talk and let's see if, if I'm a fit to help you out and help you further your career and make some more money. Again, my name is Lou and I appreciate you guys watching this video. And if I can help you become a true electronic technician, then again, hit that button.